krill oil in the skin and fish oil in the skin is, the skin doesn't really have a lot of omega-3 fats in it. It's the omega-6s that you're really looking for when it comes to skin okay. health. To a certain extent, omega-3s have anti-inflammatory benefits, but for the most part, omega-3 fats are brain fats, nerve fats, they're important for eye health, important for blood pressure and anti-inflammatory effects. But for healing, it's really an omega-6 issue, and certainly for moisturization, it's an omega-6 issue. So get yourself on the ultimate EFAs. That's what I would do. Uh, 9 to 12 a day, take them with food and with your digestive enzymes. That's first and foremost. Secondly, make sure you're using 20,000 international units of vitamin A a day, and that will help you with your menopause, menopausal symptoms too. Can, As can we, I ask uh, you a question? Well, you know, we're going to run out of time. We're going to run okay, out of time, but you're ahead. welcome to ask. No, you have something you want to ask? Beta carotene or fish oil on the vitamin A? Uh, beta carotene is not vitamin A. Don't let anybody tell you it is. Anybody okay. who ever tells you that beta carotene is vitamin A needs to go back to nutrition school or biochemistry school. No, beta carotene can be converted into vitamin A if you're perfectly healthy, which most people are not. And so for the most part, you need the real deal, vitamin A. Beta okay. carotene is not vitamin A. It's a precursor to vitamin A. So okay. 20,000 IU of vitamin A, that's first of all. Secondly, uh, vitamin E, 400 international units of vitamin E. I'd be using the mixed tocopherol form. Make sure you're getting 50 milligrams a day of zinc picolinate. And everybody listening, this is all important for all skin healing issues. Vitamin hey, A, vitamin that. E, essential fatty acids, zinc 50 milligrams a day. I'm sorry, did you say something, ma'am? Uh, I am doing that, the zinc. You're doing 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate a day. Stay on that. Yeah. Okay, make sure you're doing that. Get yourself some of my lipophilic fatty topical C. Put that on your skin on a regular basis. You can get that at truthtreatments.com. Uh, vitamin C balm, that's good for all skin healing, repairing the epidermal barrier. That's where your problem is, it sounds like anyway, is in the yeah. surface of the skin, in the epidermal barrier. And make sure that when you're taking your vitamin A and your vitamin E and your essential fats, that you're, number one, taking them with the enzymes and with your... Uh, and with your uh, meals, with uh, make sure there's some bile going on in your digestive system for absorption. And notice if you have gas or bloating or discomfort or some kind of digestive issues after you take your fats, those are all indicative of malabsorption. And it's very common that as we get older, especially as women get older, that uh, fat malabsorption comes along with that. So make sure you're taking, you're noticing if you have problems after you take your fats, your essential fatty acids and your, and your fatty vitamins. And then secondly, make sure you're taking them with your digestive digestive enzymes and with your meals. You should start to notice results, especially around, not just around healing, but also around skin moisturization. If you're dry, and you might even notice some benefits if you have hot flashes or any other menopausal symptoms. Well, let us know how you're doing with that too, by the way. Okay, Beth, I, gotta, I wanna take one more call before we go to our break. Yes, thank Thanks you so much, much. God bless you, Bye. have a beautiful day. All right, Rose, what's going on? We got uh, about a minute here, I'm sorry, I hate to do this to you, but what's going on, Rose? If not, let's extend it so next time because it's a very uh, detailed situation. Well, um, you, do you have I, a I complicated to... issue? Is there a complicated yeah. issue, Rose? Yeah, the issue has to do with somebody that has brain cancer. Wow. Um, but let me, let me help you. Let me help you with brain cancer and cancer in general. Brain cancer is cancer, and that's the operative word. Not the brain cancer, not the bone cancer, not the. It's the cancer. It doesn't matter if it's in the bone or the brain or the liver or anywhere else. It's the cancer, and cancer is a very tricky issue. It's a sign of a cellular system and ultimately a tissue organ that is under duress and has just freaked out and is at, as I've said so many times at its wit's end. Rose, we'll have to cover that tomorrow. Uh, give us a call back. We got to talk to uh, Tony Knutson at the bottom of the hour. You're listening. More We're back on the air here. I believe we are. I haven't heard the music. Okay, good. All right. I'm so excited to have our next guest on, Tony Knutson of Heart and Body, a manufacturer of Heart and Body Extract. Heart and Body Extract's been around for 15 years, helped so many people, thousands of people. Uh, if you got clogged arteries, congestive heart failure, any kind of heart problem, in fact, the way the ingredient deck is structured, any kind of health problem you're going to benefit, certainly any circulatory problem, you'll benefit from the heart and body extract. Please welcome to the Bright Side, Tony Knutson. Greetings, Tony. Good morning, Ben. How are you today? Good to talk to you. So uh, we had a nice conversation on, uh, on Saturday. Tony, you're Saturday from my morning, neck of the yes. woods in New Jersey, or in Pennsylvania, actually. 
Uh, tell, tell folks how you got involved with the heart and body extract, and then I want to talk about some of the specific herbs and some of the stuff that, uh, that the product does. Sure, absolutely. Uh, I have a marketing background, and uh, about 16 years ago, I was doing some marketing, and uh, I happened to meet a, a very extraordinary person, Sharon Harris. And she had been exhibiting quite a few issues regarding her own personal health and her uh, dissatisfaction with traditional medicine. So she had put it upon herself to seek out a master herbalist in Canada and create her own product that could address cardiovascular issues. She suffered from an enlarged heart, some extreme swelling or edema, uh, onset of congestive heart failure, high blood pressure, just a myriad of issues that she had to d contend with on a daily basis and was uh, dissatisfied with the, the negative side effects the pharmaceuticals were causing her. So uh, she met with our master herbalist and they developed a relationship and over about a year's period of time developed the heart and body extract. And what it is, it's a uh, synergistically blended mix of herbs that are wild crafted that aid people with a, a multitude of cardiovascular issues, the ones described uh, previously the Sharon heads, and also congestive heart failure, clogged arteries, very good over a six to eight month period of time of actually eliminating blockages in arteries. Uh, angina is a large issue that we deal with. People suffering from angina have very debilitating uh, reaction to taking uh, nitro patches or nitroglycerin pills, uh, most associated to having a severe migraine. So to alleviate some of those negative side effects that people always seem to deal with after developing the heart and body, I went into business with her and we decided to market it. I'd seen the results over six months and Sharon's health had improved dramatically. And I felt like there was no way I could afford not to get involved in this. So I stopped what I was doing, and Sharon graciously invited me to join her uh, in her pursuit to help others with the uh, benefits that she had received. And going back now, that's 15 years. Now, I love the way you guys formulate your products. You're not... You don't just put a little bit of this and a little bit of that. You actually, you, you were explaining to me the difference between a tincture and an extract. Why don't you tell our listeners about that? I think there's, there's yeah, some what, confusion about that. What we do that. is we suspend our product in a very small, minute amount of alcohol. And I don't want people to get turned off when I use the word alcohol because our alcohol is actually the extract of a pear fruit. So it's even uh, alcohol in its purest form naturally. Is it grain from alcohol? The, uh, from the is it what they call itself. grain alcohol? Like a hundred, like uh, the the super high concentrated alcohol? Very concentrated. Very. In fact, our ex extracts are extremely well concentrated. They're usually associated as six to one, uh, six parts of the product to one part of a suspension. Uh, versus a tincture, which is mostly a water-based product with some of the ingredients in it, not nearly the amount of ingredients that we have. Uh, and, and what happens is, that through our herbalist expertise, has developed the product where uh, certain amounts extracted into high concentrations of each of the herbs, the way they're blended together is what makes it work so well. In and of itself, a lot of people can take hawthorn or even coleus extract and probably experience some benefit from that. But again, you have to watch when you... Uh, delve into taking individual herbs that you could actually take too much and do more harm than good to yourself, especially with Hawthorne. The Hawthorne is absolutely amazing stuff for the heart. It is. Uh, it truly th is. There was a guy who wrote a book, and I'm trying to think of the name of it, where he talked about, he was an advertising executive, actually, and he, he had a heart attack, and I'll get the name of the book here when we come back from our break. Uh, he had a heart attack, and... Uh, and he started experimenting with Hawthorne, and he got off all his nitro meds and got all, off all his meds, actually, just by using Hawthorne. And, and i got to tell you, I've been working with herbs for many years. I, I had a compounding pharmacy where we wildcrafted and we tinctured uh, our own herbs. Um, we made our own herbal tinctures and herbal extracts. And you have got a, uh, just an amazing set of herbs. This thing is one of the best ingredient decks on an herbal product that I've ever seen, the heart and body extract particularly. Uh, you got, in addition to the hawthorn, there's coleus, as you mentioned, that's a, uh, a really neat, uh, I think that's a mushroom, isn't it? Is it a fungus, coleus? Coleus for scoli? Is that a, that's a, I'm pretty sure that's a mushroom, no? Well, I don't know which part of it that the herbalist used, but I believe you are correct. Um, yeah, so anyway, they, ex they tincture that out, and coleus has got, not only does coleus have, uh, 
have uh, have heart benefits, have circulatory benefits, but it's Absolutely. also it's it's a uh, anti-cancer, uh, pro-immunity, tropic action on the heart, which is going to help relax the muscles, and in turn, as you relax muscles, you're relaxing blood vessels, and that's uh, ideally suited for um, cases of mild congestive heart failure. And coleus, by the way, is a, I'm looking it up now. Coleus is not. A, I don't know why I was thinking it was a mushroom. It's a, it's actually a flowering plant. But in any case, the coleus is in there uh, for uh, for the circulatory benefits. But it also has anti uh, anti inflammatory benefits. It's got uh, pro immunity benefits. It's used as an anti cancer substance as well. And that's one of the neat things about when you work with herbal medicine is you get these multiple benefits, much like when you work with nutrition. I also noticed that you got kelp in there. Uh, talk talk a little bit about the benefits of kelp for the heart, if you could. Uh, it, it's, it's effective, it's extremely effective on all the glands, but especially the thyroid gland. And I know, Ben, a lot of people might be wondering, ah, oh, kelp with everything that's going on in the uh, in the world here as of late. Uh, our kelp actually is, is farm-raised kelp from up in Connecticut, so it's completely mm. safe for anybody who has some ongoing concerns about uh, uh, ocean sea life quality so we're completely safe from that standpoint as well kelp's an amazing amazing uh i call it a food because it actually is it is a food food. yeah it is a food it's a seaweed and you can subsist on it it's got protein in it it's got b vitamins and it's it's definitely a food and you got my my i think it's a secret ingredient in here and that's cayenne i absolutely love cayenne i put it in my smoothies i put cayenne in my juices and i use it wherever i can cayenne is so stimulating great for the digestive system but also got wonderful circulatory benefits talk a little bit about cayenne and this is a uh, capsation uh, capsation anum is the technical name for for this form of cayenne and it's basically hot pepper correct that's correct uh, cayenne's a great stimulant to help enhance uh, the uh, the effect of the other herbs that are uh, blended into our extract. It's uh, going to uh, help cleanse the body. Uh, that's moreover what the function within our product is, is the cleansing agent, because so many of our bodies, whether we realize it or not, are heavily toxic, uh, with heavy metals or what it may be. Uh, the cayenne is just a great cleanser for the system. And again, it's helping with circulatory issues. So that in combination with the garlic, it, they just have amazing qualities when you, they're in our product. You know, I was, I was about to say, you put garlic in a, in a few of your things and a few of your products. And garlic, in addition to being very tasty, obviously, and I, I sure. use garlic all the time, uh, has some super medicinal properties too, antifungal properties, antibacterial properties. Let's talk a little bit about garlic when we come back. We'll talk about the pain product, and then we'll talk about your male virility product. We'll do that when we come back from our break. We're talking to Tony Knutson. As- we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air with Tony Knutson from Heart and Body Extract. Hey, Tony, give out your website real quick before... Uh, sure, I'd love to. It's heartandbody.com, or H for heart and B for body, extract, hbextract.com. hbextract.com and heartandbody.com? Correct. Okay, good. All right, the book I was talking about is Left for Dead by a guy named Dick Quinn. Have you heard about this guy? Okay, I haven't, but I'm jotting you it down You should check right it out. It's... Speak. Yeah, you should check it out because it's, it's kind of an older book, and it's hard to find. Uh, Dick Quinn was a uh, – this is way before anybody knew about uh, cholesterol and cholesterol-lowering drugs. and He wrote it, I think, in the late 70s, uh, wow, early 70s. he was 70s. on the cutting edge at that point. He was very much on the cutting edge, and he discovered – and I think he was an advertising executive – and he discovered Hawthorne on his own. And it's kind of a, a neat little testimonial, personal testimonial about the importance of using herbs and using good nutrition for taking care of the circulatory system. All right, so we uh, left off talking about cayenne. It's stimulating and also has uh, some uh, purifying benefits and kelp and, uh, and garlic as well. I absolutely love garlic. I like multifunctionality, and that's one of the neat things that we get when we, uh, when we use herbs. Last thing I want to talk about real quick on heart and body, and then we'll move to uh, the male virility product and the pain extract. Talk, talk a little bit about mistletoe. Most folks have heard about mistletoe, obviously, from Christmas time, but actually mistletoe has got some tremendous medicinal properties as well, right? It, it absolutely does. And uh, the big uh, misnomer out there is that mistletoe is uh, uh, toxic or dangerous to you, but it, it's the parts of the mistletoe that you have to use that are the good parts of it uh, that can be extremely beneficial in lowering your blood pressure. A lot of people don't know that, that mistletoe is edible, and it, it, it's very good at lowering blood pressure. Uh, it, 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 it concentrates on the central arteries in the brain, um, so it, and as you relax those blood vessels, the rest of the blood vessels relax as well. There's more blood vessels 
in your brain than anywhere else inside your whole entire body. You also use mistletoe in your pain extract, and obviously pain, if you had to pick one problem that people have to deal with, miserable problem that people have to deal with that they want to eliminate, it, obviously it's going to be pain. And you also use mistletoe in your pain, uh, the pain extract formula. Talk a little bit about mistletoe for pain. 